Hello, Namaste. Welcome to Telugu NRI Radio, the heartbeat of NRIs. Friends, COVID-19 has thrown a big challenge to us and the entire world is dealing with that. Economies have come to a standstill and unemployment has increased. People are in lockdown. There are like so many things happening. Frontliners who are the major heroes actually who are working. And I wanted to do a show to bring to everybody's attention uh, the kind of uh, crisis that we are facing. I'm back after a long time uh, on my Politics and Nation show. I'm here to bring an important guest who has done uh, tremendous work during this. This is RJ Arvind presenting on Telugu NRI radio from Charlotte, North Carolina. As we all know, a crisis defines an individual, an organization, or a nation. And today, 200 plus countries are in a crisis. And we have so many organizations, apart from the frontliners like medical staff, firefighters, and police, who are doing great work in this crisis. And one such organization that has come or that has become like you know very popular during this time is Seva International. I have an individual who has put duty to the society well above personal limitations. A person who is very popular uh, in the Greater Charlotte area, someone who is actually working on the ground away from like, you know, sometimes cutting off his family time. It is always very easy for us to give uh, some kind of an advice or criticize the steps being taken. But again, it is very, very difficult, especially in this crisis uh, to go and work and like, you know, work for the society and work for the people who don't even are like, you know, are not even related to us. So with us, we have such individual, the Charlotte Seva chapter coordinator, Mr. Venu Rao. Hello, Mr. Venu. Welcome to Telugu NRI Radio. Namaste to all Telugu NRI listeners. Thank you for having me. First, I want to start thanking all frontline workers, Seva volunteers, donors, other partner organizations as well. Well, Mr. Venu, uh, before uh, we start uh, our discussion, I just wanted to make an appeal. Once again, uh, Telugu NRI listeners, this is RJ Arvind from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. I want to like you know, today we have a discussion with Seva International Charlotte chapter head, Mr. Venu Rao. And if you are interested to ask him a question or you wanted to say something on this program, please feel free to call us. If you are in US, the number is 919-701-2005. If you are in India, it is 970-522-2005. If you are in UK, 115-888-2005. You can always listen to us on TelugunRIRadio.com. Once again, without any further delay, I would like to begin my discussion uh, with Mr. Venu Rao. Uh, Mr. Venu, uh, my first question to you. There are so many voluntary organizations, so many charitable organizations, uh, like, you know, working in the United States. Just to give a donation, and if you look for a choice, there are so many, and it's very confusing. But you are volunteering for an organization. What made you pick Seva International? It's a very good question to start with. Um, there are many reasons. Um, let me start uh, saying Seva International is a worldwide organization. When you have a global presence, it will be easy to resolve some of the geographically related issues. And also coordination and communication becomes very easy when you have the global presence. Seva has a very good foundational framework across the America and internationally. That is one reason. The second reason, you will be amazed by um, knowing this. Seva International has a very less overhead cost. When I say overhead cost, if someone donates a dollar to a beneficiary, how much it reaching to the beneficiary, how much is the extra overhead cost? Mr. Arunji, 
Do you have any rough idea how much overhead costs SEVA or other organizations related? Okay. Uh, yes. Overhead cost, is it like, you know, 15% or something, 15, 20%? Uh, is that normal? It's, you know, it's, uh, SEVA is very less overhead cost, it's uh, less than 5% is our cost compared to the other organizations close to they have 25% overhead cost, in some scenarios even 30%, but SEVA is the, is the organization which, which works in a, in, a, in a unique way that cut down a lot of overhead costs. That means 95% of benefit goes to the actual beneficiary compared to the other organization. This is the one of the major benefit through going to the SEVA organization. That is one. The other one, um, most of our volunteers are accessible anytime and they're very passionate. All of our volunteers truly believe that everyone has obligation to serve their society based on Hindu Sanatan Dharma. There are so many uh, reasons, you know, just I, I can keep on go for another 10, 15 minutes, but you know, I know the time, li time is limit. Uh, let me stop here. Okay. Yeah. Well, very good to know that like, you know, your overhead cost is very less, Mr. Venu. Uh, let me add like, you know, a connected question to that. Uh, how many Seva chapters are there in the United States and how many volunteers roughly do you have? In the U.S., uh, we have around 45 chapters. Um, in 35 states, we have around 5,000 volunteers helping, providing a selfless service to the all religion, race, nationality, gender, respectively. You know, all, all of our services, irrespective of religion, race, nationality, gender, we are providing. Okay, very good to know that. So you serve everybody here in your geographic area, irrespective of their like you know inclination or their background. Uh, so continuing with my questions, see as we all know, this COVID crisis is something that is not been seen in the past. Even World War Two was like you know very much smaller compared to COVID, and. Uh, entire nations have come to a standstill. What are some of the activities that your SEVA team is doing? Uh, just give us an outline and then we can go into a detailed discussion uh, uh, later on, but at least like, you know, just give us an overview, some of the bigger uh, things that you are like, you know, trying to accomplish during this COVID crisis. We did, we are doing many initiatives. Some of the initiatives I can list here, SEVA helpline, Annapurna, Seva Annapurna, food drive, mask making initiative, supply personal protective equipment to the healthcare workers, Seva Sankalp. Uh, basically, Seva Sankalp is nothing but, you know, reaching to the local other organizations which has a common goal to help the society. And we are combining together as a, as a team and going to the all the communities you know, together we can serve better that is one of the our motto so that's why we are connecting to the other organizations um, and case management you know individuals and families requiring long long-term assistance we are helping them and running some webinars with the physicians therapists immigration attorneys um, those are the highlights we are doing during the covid and also there's a one um, Plasma registry, this is very helpful and we are the SEVA is the um, one, you know, in, took the initiative and came up with the innovative idea, you know, website initially and finding the donors and, you know, matching to proper um, receptor. Okay, good to know that you are doing so much of uh, SEVA. Uh, so you have touched upon some of them, uh, like, you know, like mask making. Uh, can you elaborate, like, you know, what exactly are you doing as part of this mask making and some more details, like, you know, which the listeners can, like, you know, uh, get some information, how they can, like, connect with you and then how they can contribute to this mask making activity? 
we have around uh, 50 volunteers making masks since last eight weeks. We are making around um, 250 masks per week. And uh, say or Charlotte, um, donating these masks to the local organizations like uh, old age homes and refugee camps and local hospitals uh, and some of the um, temples also. Um, this mask making actually the lot of local organizations they came us uh, gave hind to us to help and many organizations also involved here um, they want to work with the seva um, example Marathi Mandal uh, group and uh, Jain Samaj group, Hindu Swayam Seva group, and uh, Telugu Association. There are there are many organizations actually. They they came forward and uh, they're helping on the mass making. And thanks to all the volunteers, um, and uh, and also the currently we we help many uh, hospitals. Um, not only the fabric mass, and we are providing KN95 masks to the hospitals um, and the N95 masks and surgical masks to the hospitals and sanitizers. Uh, those are the things currently we are, you know, Char local Charlotte uh, initiatives going on. Okay, yeah, now, nowadays these masks are like gold actually. So now I know where to go if I need a mask or a sanitizer. Okay, uh, so moving to my next question. Uh, there are like, you know, many uh, questions like you know nris have uh, some related to like you know some medication or they don't know what to do they have a question like you know oh, and you mentioned about uh, some uh, helpline uh, but uh, this helpline can you share some more details on the helpline like you know you have just touched upon that uh, yeah, Charlotte uh, has a dedicated non-medical helpline, which is okay. being monitored every day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. We have 20, around 20 volunteers formed an informal schedule to take calls and provide guidance. So we get the uh, majority of the calls I could say four or five types majority of the the first priority the first uh, major type of calls we are getting is uh, most of the parents are you know due to this out lockdown they were unable to go back to india or some other countries and they are running out of their med their medicines and uh, they're looking for whatever the prescription they have in the equivalent medicines in, in US. So that is one type. The other one is people, um, they want to travel back to India and, uh, you know, we, they want some kind of help from the consulate general or the US embassy. So th that another travel related thing. The third one is the use visa related. A lot of people having problem with the job. Um, and uh, their visa getting expired, some kind of attorney advice, uh, that one. The fourth one is, you know, like they're going a lot of stress, you know, some kind of consultation, um, guidance, that's uh, another one. And uh, fifth one, some people, um, their, you know, the younger generation is somewhere else and the old uh, parents are at alone and no one is there to go out and get some, you know, regular grocery or anything. Um, that type of help also we do get calls. There are many varieties, but, you know, just uh, those are the major type of uh, calls we are getting. And we have separate a dedicated line for plasma registry also. That is also another um, call goes on. Okay, so th this, uh, you brought up two important points. You said, like, you know, medications are running out. And then you also said visa related questions. So how do you address these questions? Like, you know, do you consult, like, you know, do you have people on your uh, SEVA group to address these or like, you know, how exactly do you tackle such questions? It's a good question. So what, what we have, we build a framework. 
initially we struggled, but now we have a proper framework. When I say framework, we have when the call gets, it goes to the operator. In the, from operator to it goes to the case manager, depends upon the case. Then you, uh, from the case manager to the advisors, you know, based on um, depends on the request, it goes to the we have pull up physicians, pull up attorneys. Um, in each sector, we have a advisors. Um, you know, thank you to the local uh, Charlotte doctors. A lot of people they came forward and they are working freely for our organization to help um, medical prescriptions. And even attorneys also, they are trying to guide who on the visa issues. Um, those are the things. Uh, and also we have people on the boots on the ground. Basically, if somebody wants to, you know, they, they pick up or drop off, um, deliver some vegetables or some emergency medicines, that's, we do have volunteers in each section, that framework helping um, to complete this, um, you know, fill the request. Okay, so very good to know that, like, you know, you have people, like, you know, who are part of your group, doctors and uh, attorneys and other professionals who are helping. So you are saying that you have built a framework where the calls are taken seriously and then there is a logical conclusion or closure to every single call you receive. Is that uh, what you say when you said you have built a Hello. framework? Yes, yes. Just, just uh, that, that's correct, um, Mr. Arun. Just want, I want to list my uh, helpline number on this uh, radio also. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Eight, five, please, any, uh, listeners, if he has any, any Charlotte related issue or even the globally also in the US, if you have any issues related to the COVID-19, please do call to 850-SEVA-CLT or 850-739-2258. Let me repeat again, 850-SEVA-CLT. This is the number of our Charlotte dedicated helpline, non-medical helpline number. Okay, very nice, Mr. Veno. So once again, uh, Telugu and RI listeners who actually connected late, today we are discussing, uh, having a discussion with Mr. Venu Rao, who is the Charlotte chapter uh, uh, coordinator for SEVA International. So Mr. Venu, I think we have a caller. Namaste, who is this? Hey, hi, this is Neeraj and uh, I, I have a question uh, related to yes. some student uh, perspective. So, okay. how Mr. Um, so where are you calling from? I am calling from Charlotte. Okay. okay. Yeah, please go ahead so and I ask your question. Fellow, yeah, I have few friends uh, who came here from India and uh, they, have, they got a little bit stuck uh, with this corona period over here. So I wanted to know how Seva Foundation is helping the students who are from India and got stuck over here. So they are planning to go to India and what will be their path to go over there in India? So how okay, basically I'll let how Mr. Venu Seva Foundation is answer helping, this question. Yeah. 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 Basically how Seva Foundation is helping the students over here. Okay, Mr. Venu, I think you want to take that question from Dheeraj? Thank you, Dheeraj. Uh, this is a good uh, question, actually. This uh, Currently, we are helping many uh, similar type of situations. The first thing what you asked, if somebody, you know, um, having issues with the, you know, like a travel and uh, temporary help on uh, lodging and uh, food, is that the question, question Girishi? No, yeah, yeah Dheeraj, I think that's the question. He said they are stuck here. How can they connect with SEVA and then get some help? Uh, so what are you guys doing for students? Yeah, definitely we can help the, this, you know, um, if you are in local Charlotte, please send the email to SEVA in CLT at gmail.com. We will we'll always there to help you. And uh, we are helping currently many students uh, who are stranded, you know, helping with the immigration mm -hmm. or temporary um, lodging or, you know, Boarding. Also, we are helping. Please uh, send us email. Okay. Uh, thank you, Deeraj, actually, for that question. So, as Mr. Venu said, please do send an email uh, and contact Seva, and then you can always, like you know, get the help that you wanted. Uh, thank you for calling Telugu NRA Radio listeners. 
uh, who may have connected late we are thank you uh, discussing seva activity during covid with mr venu rao seva international charlotte chapter coordinator if you are in us please call us at 9197012005 if you are in india 9705222005 and if you are in uk it's 115 8882005 you are listening to telugu nri radio this is rj arvind uh, once again coming back to the discussion so mr venu uh, again this student thing and uh, getting stuck has brought up an uh, like you know something like you know uh, a difficult situation so how are you like you know can you elaborate what all you are doing for the student community uh, just a quick detail so that like you know we can move to our next question so the it's a case by case majorly we are helping currently the similar type of students uh, who are standard you know temporarily trying to find a uh, housing for them and food and if they have any visa type uh, issues and uh, you know the communication wise if they are not able to Uh, reach someone or you know trying to um, get that type of consultation so those are the majorly three areas we are helping um, but it's a case by case um, we you know helping in okay. a major case okay yeah actually it is a very unforeseen situation lot of hostels where like you know students were asked to vacate their hostels overnight and then i'm pretty sure in a uh different land they must have been struck and then thanks to organizations like seva they are getting some help now i want to just go over to another question recently i saw some flyer uh online on social media about seva food drive so can you explain what exactly is this what are you doing in this area and uh, how people can like you know reach out and uh, contribute hello seva mr venu your voice is very low can, can you speak up loud seva annapurna food drive okay this initiative basically we are collecting the non perishable food and even uh, I'll come back to the cooked food but non perishable food cans we are collecting from the local community and giving donation to the um pantries food banks and uh, refugee camps um homeless shelters um that that's a very huge success program and um, we started very late um two weeks back but we are getting very um or response on that you know um we thought whatever the target we we expected that we reached even 10 times in a, even even in the first week itself initially we thought of as a pilot project we are um, providing that food to one shelter now the same amount we are now taking to four shelters that okay. much so then, uh, i just want to interrupt you sorry uh, we have a caller uh, let's take a call uh, uh, hello who is this hello welcome to telugu nri radio who is this can you introduce yourself where are you calling from okay uh, i think probably the call may have dropped uh, let's continue mr venu sorry to interrupt you had mentioned that you have uh, received a tremendous response on the food drive uh, thank you to the our donors also lot of local community um donors they are helping us lot on this food drive uh, even other organizations also they have you know give hands to succeed in this seva annapurna program okay uh, so how much of the food like you know are you uh, collecting how much have you collected uh, almost um, we close to 6 tons of uh, worth of food we collected and we gave that you know um, to many shelters in fact that to tomorrow also we are giving to the one of the affordable home shelter which has you know um different type of uh, families staying there 
there no job and um, you know they are in need of food that's where we are delivering uh, monday uh, also okay very good uh, so i think we have a caller uh, let's uh, take the call hello who's this uh, can you introduce uh, yourself hello welcome to telugu nri radio can you speak up please sir we have a lot of background noise we are not able to hear okay i think there is, there is lot of discussion uh, sorry disturbance on that and i think we'll just continue with our discussion uh, so you had mentioned that you are giving it to shelters and all so uh, i just wanted to ask one connected question to that uh so is this help that you are giving to the society is it like you know limited to nris or is it like you know not uh, what exactly is it uh, how do you decide who gets the benefit seva is a you know basically we we believe vasudeva kutumbakam when i say that you know uh, it, it's there is no seva there there is no um discrimination or or any irrespective of any religion or race gender we will deliver to everyone it's open to everyone is that okay. what you are yeah exactly that is what i wanted to know so it is not limited to only the nri so it is for everyone you don't discriminate on any religion race that is exactly what i wanted to know and uh my related question to this is you had mentioned many things like you know you said masks you said sanitizers you said food you said helpline all this requires some amount of finance okay and then how do you generate these finances and then uh, how can people donate to you Oh, like you know, there could be many people who wanted to do something, but they don't know what to do, who to donate it. Uh, now, luckily, we have you on this discussion. So, if you want to give those details, uh, then maybe people can connect with you. Yeah. Um, so, just before going to that question, um, Arvind, um, previously the food thing. Just, uh, just I want to cover one more thing. we were explaining mm-hmm. that non portable uh, food and also we are doing the cooked food uh, um also donation um we are using most of the kitchens right now you know due to this covid uh, lockdown most of the restaurants are closed and we are taking advantage of not advantage but you know generating some work for those kitchen um employees and uh, taking the discounted uh, price uh lunch boxes from them and delivering to the um other locations wherever the food you know they're looking for the food basically it's 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 it it helping in two ways you know uh generating some employment and uh, giving some food to the um people who need um so that that's that's uh, on that side and the second question what you asked is uh, how are we um getting the funds for this type of work that's a very good question um initially we struggled uh, some you know when it started the covid 19 the first week or so but after that it's self sufficient everybody is openly they are coming up you know like for food drive a lot of people you know they donate um the stuff itself um even canned food or any even the you know ordering food on themselves they are ordering to help the people and also you mask you know um people they they go and buy the fabric and they donate to us uh, to stitch masks um even lot of people are donating through our online uh, anybody can donate actually if somebody will willing to donate also go to online and they can donate to the seva international referring to the local charlotte um mentioning there and you could mention even the project name suppose if you want to donate for local charlotte uh, mask making you could refer that also 
that money comes back to again Charlotte uh, chapter. And even if you want to mention for the food drive, you know, you could uh, go to online and um, you could play it at the sevausa.org. Um, that's where you could um, uh, refer. There are multi multiple ways to donate, but right now Charlotte chapter has a, um, most of the work what we are doing is this, uh, most of the donors, donors uh, helping on their own and uh, it's self-sustained framework. Okay. And if you have donate also, um, we have multiple ways they can donate actually. Um, say what you said, dot org slash donate, you know, we could go use a credit card or PayPal or whatever, the, you know, that's the, all the instructions were listed there. I don't want to go in detail. Um, we have multiple ways they can donate if somebody wants to donate, you know, PayPal or credit card. Um, they can even donate the check to mailing address also listed on the website. And are, are these uh, tax exempt, Mr. Venu? Are these donations tax exempt? Seva International is a non-profit organization and they will get the receipt. Um, they can uh, take that one as well. Thanks. Okay, very good. Then uh, I definitely like the idea that you are not only donating food, but at the same time giving some uh, work to the restaurants that way you are like keeping them also in business that's actually a very novel idea uh, continuing with this food thing uh, y you had mentioned like you know are you helping any ethnic groups uh, in and around uh, charlotte yeah as i said you know seva international is you know always believes in was they kutumbakam sanskrit phrase you know, which means the world is one family. We help everyone, but if you ask specifically if there's any groups, um, currently the majority of the groups nearby Charlotte, you know, Bhutanese communities, you know, um, um, we are helping in the north. There are three or four locations we are going and in the tent, tent city, and there are some other local Asian American communities we are helping. Uh, but if you are asking specifically for that uh, type of thing, then yes, Bhutanese communities we are helping. Okay, yeah, great to know that, that you're also helping ethnic communities around Charlotte. Uh, continuing the question, so uh, are you restricted to only Charlotte or like, you know, your work is spread across, like, you know, there are so many other small towns across, like, you know, around uh, Charlotte area, so you have a presence in all those small towns also? Not only Charlotte, you are, you are saying about an NC state or outside? Or no, no, I'm just you... asking about your area of work, your chapter's area of work. Is it just limited to the Charlotte city or, the, or it covers all the surrounding towns and other areas? Yes, yes. We go um, at least, you know, nearby our areas in the local uh, towns also. And in fact, you know, uh, we have good connection with the other chapters. Um, in fact, it's, you know, like um, one week back, we had a call with the rally, uh, Seva chapter, and they need some help nearby. Uh, that's two hours away from Charlotte. You know, we were, we were able to help um, provide 100 marks to one of the camp, uh, local camp. So it's, we are going, um, connecting to the all the cities wherever the work needed. In fact, um, Seva has, you know, well connected to the other chapters. Somebody may say in a Bay Area, you know, we are looking for this one. In that time period, if they are short, you know, we will provide, you know, uh, from the Charlotte to there or they, from there to here. It, it's a vice versa, you know, we are helping, um, we are well connected to the, all the chapters. Oh, very good. Actually, so you're not limited by any geographic location. So you will make sure whenever there is a request for help, you will ensure that somewhere or the other, the help reaches uh, the person or the area. Okay, that is very good to know. So listeners, today we have Mr. Venu Rao, Seva Chapter Charlotte Coordinator on our discussion. So if anybody is uh, interested to ask a question or say something uh, about the SEVA activity, you can call us if you're in US, 919-701-2005. If 
If you are in India, 9705222005, and if you are in UK, 1158882005. You are listening to Telugu NRI Radio, the heartbeat of NRIs. So, Mr. Venu, continuing our discussion. See, this COVID has not only thrown us a challenge in in terms of like you know food shelter and other uh, lockdown, but this has also added a lot of stress. uh and then like you know some kind of a mental pressure which was never seen before actually i don't remember uh, any such event uh, where like you know people had to stay indoors for uh, more than 2 months so this means what lack of physical activity stress and especially imagine kids who are like you know they like to go around jump around play go to school mix with their friends they are missing all that and we all know it's uh, it adds to mental pressure so is seva doing anything in this area uh, to help uh, ease out the stress uh, and then like you know to help the people yep um this is very good question uh, right now we are doing uh, related to this type of projects um, seva international is offered variety of webinars in the past 8 weeks to help the community cope up with the stress anxiety created by the covid-19 pandemic outbreak almost around 50 webinars have conducted um, such as managing anxiety with the meditation and i know the meditation is secret of success for any um health and also the art of well being uh, and um, other webinars like a uh, physician attorneys and um, uh, you know some of the how to cope up with the jobs and all of those webinars listed it's it's going and uh, online yoga sessions that will you know release some kind of stress and uh, in fact we are daily running um 7:30 to 8 surya namaskar sessions through zoom uh, web uh, cast so most of the local charlotte people who are connected with the with the request you know uh, we are running sessions surya namaskar from 7:30 to 8 uh, with the hindu swayam sevak help and they are also helping in this big effort um also one more thing you asked but uh, how are we engaging the kids the kids um, yeah. we are involving elementary and middle school kids creating innovative thank you notes for the for the frontline workers they are they are doing they are doing tremendous job in doing this thank you notes making them very meaningful notes to the frontline workers Uh, and uh, they they personally enjoy this making those cartoons and uh, um, instead of buying a new uh, greeting cards we are using their thank you notes and delivering to the these hospitals or fire stations police stations um, that is other uh, that's one way we are keeping the elementary and middle school kids the other high school students call, basically they personally call Uh, local community offices and they they will inquire about about essential stuff you know if they are looking for any sanitizers face masks or cleaning wipes um providing even lunch programs do they need any uh, lunch uh, initiative that, that type of initiative we are we took recently it's working very well and we are partnered with another organization hss and you know we are running this uh, uh we are engaging kids in in a better in in a in a correct way um and also um mm-hmm. yeah it is very good actually you are engaging kids that is very interesting so basically you have all age groups uh, covered uh, which is a good thing uh, uh, sorry if i have interrupted you do you wanted to add something before i ask my next question yeah, yeah it's it's fine yeah yeah good okay. thanks uh, how and was speaking you know, with um Hello? if if anybody wants to connect to us um you know basically there are they can send us for yoga or even students to engage in this uh, 
participate or any any of these initiatives they can send me email through seva in clt at gmail.com and um, th that's what i'm covered okay okay yeah that's a, that was my question actually how does one get connected with so you're saying it is open to everyone and then by sending email uh, we can always be part of these uh, webinars or the yoga things can you repeat the uh, email address one more time for uh, everybody's uh, convenience yeah there, there are multiple options to get connected to seva actually one is a email seva in clt at gmail.com and uh, we have a website the seva usa.org go to charlotte chapter um, or the, we have the Facebook, uh, um, facebook.com slash Seva CLT. And also, um, you know, you may see the volunteers, our Seva volunteers, they always um, go in yellow t-shirts, word of mouth, you know, they can connect to them also. Like most of the local cities, we are well known with the t-shirts, yellow t-shirts, Seva, wherever we go, they, they it's eye-catchy t-shirt. Okay. Yeah, I think I may have seen uh, some of them. Uh, yes, very good to know. So definitely, uh, listeners, if you want to stay fit during this COVID crisis or you want to fight mental pressure and then like, you know, if your kids want to do something like, you know, something positive during this, please uh, connect uh, with uh, Seva International uh, using the email address uh, and uh, be part of it it's a good thing that is going on and then well, uh, it's always positive to be part of such initiatives so my next question uh, mr veno seva international has been doing tremendous work in so many areas and uh, how is it being received like you know when you go do something in a particular town like you know how does the local people or the officials or the individuals who receive help from you what is the kind of reaction you get so we, we are getting tremendous response, uh, appreciation from the beneficiaries and uh, other organizations also. Um, and um, from, a, you know, when we go um, dispatch those, uh, even the fabric masks, uh, stitched masks or any N95 masks, when we go to the hospital, they are they, all the, you know, one of the hospital when I went there, they, even though they are busy, all the doctors and nurses, they came out of the hospital and they are willing to say thank you personally. Everybody came and thanked me. Like, you know, generally they are busy with, uh, you know, most of the, busy with the patients and everything, mm -hmm. but they took a time outside and, uh, you know, they are thanking me for entire hospital crew came. And uh, even when, you know, um went to the post office you know they are really happy to um, um to come outside and greet us and they're giving us the you know the appreciation letters and even the city also in sending the appreciation letters and they're recognizing our efforts uh, globally and um, that, that's really touchy for us to go extra mile uh, very motivational responses from the communities Okay, yeah, very good. See, I definitely see that this is like actually a great thing that you guys are doing when rest of all of us are actually confined to our houses, uh, scared to even go out to buy groceries. You and your volunteers are actually going out to actually the hospitals and these action centers where the COVID patients are there it's it's a brave gesture i would say and then uh, great thing you guys are doing and appreciate from the bottom of my heart and i think we have a caller uh, namaste who's this i'm calling from Raleigh. yeah namaste your name please okay, can you repeat uh, my name is venkat please? yeah hi venkat uh, my name you is venkat i'm from Raleigh. yes yeah, i have like it's very good that Venurav and Seva is doing a phenomenal job during this uh, unprecedented times. But one question I have for him is, like not only for him, like all the Seva dars, whoever is doing this uh, selfless service, how, we, how are they getting motivated during these times? So what is keeping their motivation going like every day and then like leaving their families and loved ones at home and serving the communities when there is a need? 
very very good question actually that was uh, like you know i saved that question for the end but again you asked it as i said it is really a brave thing to venture out to these hospitals and then like you know where everybody is scared even to go to the grocery store so mr venu this is a awesome question uh, from venkat from rale can you uh, give out like you know what is your inspiration what inspires your volunteers yeah um it's a bit it's a motivational response from the community itself when we help somebody it gives great uh, uh, motivation that's motivation driving us to go this extra mile and uh, you know when we go to these hospitals also we we do take the proper care um we will we educate our volunteers also first we have to take care of ourselves you know when we are going to hospitals or wherever they are going i know this is a um difficult time but as long as you take the proper care it will you minimize the risk um that is one way to help um the other thing is you know family time you know the, my family also involved in this uh, voluntary uh, they are also putting a lot of uh, hours uh, my wife and kids at least you know that way we are all part of that uh, family uh, volunteering um so that's a very good thing actually no, no, yeah, so you yeah it yeah, yes venu ra one more one good thing is like it's it's yeah it's obviously it's not it has to be from the whole first it starts from the family and then it goes to the community good that like i mean because without your family support you would not be supporting this activity or even for any any volunteer who wants to do it during this times it has to be first from the family they would let you do it that's when we can do our part also to begin with so yeah. yes you, i mean yeah. you are like you i mean by doing this like you're not only you're not only you're you're being motivated and you're motivating others like me or whoever they wants to do i mean we have to give back to the community regardless of where you are regardless of whether you are in us or whether where you are in home country or not at any time once you give that's when you receive something else like it's not it's not like whether it's a, any service when you say seva it's a selfless service you're not expecting anything in return when you're doing a seva so whether it's a financial or your effort or going to the hospital and delivering something we are when you do seva you're not uh, you're not uh, thinking of you're not receiving anything you're just trying to give whatever you have from your end whether it's a financial or like leaving your home and uh, donating something and delivering something to somebody whether it's the next door or two hours of drive so this is very i mean inspirational as well as motivational also for anybody who wants to give back during these times especially regardless of any country it needed across the globe right now it's not one organization there are so many organizations they are trying to do this but it's very good that the seva organization at uh, uh, charlotte chapter is doing this and then thank you rj for hosting this and then it is a very nice show yes keep up the good work yeah, thank you thank you thank mr venkat thank you for calling us uh, and asking that very great question actually uh, people like mr venu and his volunteers are really the inspiration for uh, many of us to do something or give back uh, i think we have another caller uh, uh, who is this can you introduce yourself thank you venkat yeah my name is lakshman kaparthi i'm from calling from austin i am also seva international volunteer in austin yeah namaste mr lakshman uh, you have a question or like you know you want to ask uh, something to mr venu rao no i just want to say thanks uh, for the all the services of seva like in the karma bhumi and uh, as well as this like this is a great great inspiration for rest of the other uh, Uh, other organization they are following the seva so like seva is a, is big, uh, is, is becoming a forerunner like serving the needy in this coming in this country too like being an being an indian like that uh, uh, serving that uh, like uh, following the antyoreya philosophy like even we are doing yeah like that's i just wanted to mention that uh, yeah yeah appreciate being, uh, uh, thank you so much for calling actually and then uh, saying few kind words that definitely uh, inspires uh, others uh, thank you for calling telugu nra radio listeners if you want to call mr venu rao who is the seva chapter uh, coordinator for charlotte please call 919701 2005 if you are in us 
and if you are in india 9705222005 and if you are in uk 115888200005 and i think we have another caller uh, let's take the calls uh, mr venu hello who is this welcome to telugu nara radio uh hello uh, whoever is this like you know we are not hearing your voice properly can you speak up loud okay i think we got disconnected uh anyway mr venu i think we we are almost like you know coming to the end of our program but it's been like you know a tremendous uh like you know response that we are getting from the callers like you know people calling from raleigh and austin and all it's truly so i can definitely see the spirit of uh, seva international uh, and then the kind of uh, great work they are doing and i especially i can definitely say when people are even scared to venture out to pick up their mail or like you know their groceries that are delivered at the doorstep you guys are going to the hospitals that is truly brave and then like you know truly commendable i think we have a caller uh, welcome to telugu nr radio who's this नमस्ते अरविंद जी नमस्ते वेनू दिस इज गणेश फ्रॉम शार्लेट हाय मिस्टर गणेश हाउ आर यू एंड डू हैव अ क्वेश्चन या फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक सेवा फाउंडेशन फॉर डूइंग दिस वर्क नॉट ओनली फॉर द कोविड-19 सिचुएशन बट ऑल ओवर द डिफरेंट इवेंट्स दैट दे आर कंडक्टिंग एंड दे आर डूइंग इट फॉर द सोसाइटी माय सिंपल क्वेश्चन इज लाइक आई एम न्यू टू यूएस एंड आई डोंट नो हाउ टू जॉइन सेवा फाउंडेशन एक्टिविटीज so may i know how we can volunteer yourself for the seva foundation activities okay yes. and uh, mr ganesh you are based out of charlotte yes i am from charlotte okay okay so mr ben i think somebody is very eager to join so give out the details and you have another volunteer thank you ganesh ji for contacting us and um, um, there are multiple ways but I, you know uh, you could send me email seva in clt@gmail.com or you could uh, go to sevausa.org um dot com, uh, org and then go to the charlotte chapter you know um, there are um, instructions to how to join um, but it's you know thank you for your interest and uh, your name and number if you provide i definitely i will reach to you uh, you know we need uh, kind of uh, support um, that would be great uh, Okay thank you Mr yeah, Ganesh thank you thanks so for calling and um, coming to like you know I think we are almost close uh, like you know we have discussed so many aspects of it Mr Venu uh, I I just wanted to un- uh, understand from Seva International through you uh, so covid is a temporary phase uh, so your activities would they go on uh, in the same wavelength or like you know Oh, after the covid crisis uh, i think you can answer me after words like and i think we have a caller let's take the call first uh, hello who is this welcome to telugu nara radio namaste and and rakesh matlaadunu rakesh racha from chicago yeah hello mr rakesh yeah you have a question or you want to say something no just want to say uh, thank you very much uh, for serving uh, in this uh, pandemic Uh, i was also seated with seva before too but uh, when uh, in times of harvey uh telugu lo maatadochandi yeah yeah all right yeah, yeah. all the audience yeah. okay 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 uh, so appudu harvey appudu kuda mundundi seva seva anni rangallo mundundi andarki help chesindi alage ippudu covid time lo kuda actually there are uh, other organizations also who are helping but ikkada chicago chapter gurinchi cheppalante ikkada anni organizations so oka umbrella type form chesi like various linguistic organizations temple organizations lanti anni a plan baundandi anni everdi vallu cheyakunda oka multi anni organizations ni oka umbrella kindiki techi vaati dwara seva activities cheyadamu anedi ee baaga nachindandi Thank okay, you very, very good, uh, Mr. Rakesh. Uh, thank you. As Mr. Rakesh has said, that Seva International has not just uh, is not just working alone. Uh, 
but it has brought uh, all the other uh, organizations under its umbrella and then collectively they are doing seva i think mr venu can you add something in this uh, area yeah thank you rakesh for bringing up that and uh, yes um, seva sankalp you know there is a uh, we are also doing the seva sankalp in a local charlotte also as rakesh said in a chicago they are doing the similar similar initiative here we connected with you know we are reaching out to almost 50 organizations local organizations and they also have a similar um you know they they want to work on this um, initiative and we came to the common ground and there are currently we are connected to many organizations local you know marathi mandal or jain jain samaj or hindu temple all the temple groups sai baba group um satya sai baba and uh, telugu association we are all connectedly working and uh, together we can serve better um, that that's what we are doing currently uh, that way we can reach to the all the way to the leaf nodes when we when we combinedly work together that initiative is going very well and uh, as uh, rakesh ji said in the last time in the um harvey arkin time that that was um, you know tremendously even the government also recognized and um, seva uh, did tremendous help during those um, harvey time and now also we are doing um, at least seva is was the uh, has been active on the ground early for the covid that uh, helped so many um, so many communities in this difficult times thank that, you that is true and that is, that is true mr venu and thank you rakesh uh, all the way from chicago he has called us and mr venu can, can you add something on the plasma thing uh, i know i think we discussed so many other things but we did not touch upon this uh, you mentioned that seva was one of the first pioneers of that uh, i think do we have a caller uh, let's take a call if we have a caller hello who's this uh, welcome to telugu nadu radio okay i think we got disconnected yeah mr venu can you elaborate on the plasma so plasma registry this is um, you know when it, when initially um, that was the remedy they are looking for to help the patients and the seva is the one took it within no time you know put up a, a you know portal portal together to uh, and publicize that portal anybody any corner they can um, go into that uh, website and they can list all the information of the donor and the receiver and whoever has the combination automatically matches in back side we have a um, you know program written to match that thing and provide that details to the local hospitals that that was very helpful instead of going into the website and anybody uh, donor itself they can they can enter all the information of his stuff and the receiver also he could put whatever uh, his request so that okay, that very was, good yeah i think that is a tremendous help i think we have a caller mr venu let's take the caller uh, namaste who is this welcome to telugu nara radio hello who is this uh, anybody on the call can you speak up i think the call may have got disconnected uh, yes uh, truly i think plasma i think we have the caller again hello who is this welcome to telugu nara radio can you introduce yourself please i think we may have some uh, technical difficulty i think on the callers and i think so i think mr venu uh, as you said this plasma drive definitely is a great uh, initiative uh, i could definitely see that and i think i've seen lot of information about it on the social media and now i'm like you know trying to get it first hand from you as you are part of uh, the seva international so my i think i was asking you a question um, and then got lost um, your seva activities do they continue even post covid or this is like you know some kind of a all hands on deck approach right now and afterwards it slows down or like you know are there any activities post covid also that like you know people or kids or like you know youth can connect to you oh there seva is actually this is um, you know um, very well known for other activities um, in the covid you know we we were focusing on this covid 19 uh, uh, the health wise but otherwise we have many 
in uh, programs currently running like family services, uh, national projects, and working at the uh, volunteering at the food bank and uh, sponsoring a child, um, doctors for seva, empowerment, and women empowerment, and the lead program, aspire program. There are many many programs. There's the continuous programs um, we we run throughout the year. Um, that that's never going to stop. But uh, maybe we put a slow down during this uh, COVID-19, I could say. Okay. I think we have a caller. Uh, welcome to Telugu NRI Radio. Can you ask your question or introduce yourself first? Hi, this is Ashish. So, uh, I would like to... Ashish, where, Ashish, where are you calling from, Ashish? I'm calling from Charlotte. Yeah, okay. Thank you for calling Telugu NRI Radio. Do you have a question for Mr. Venu? Yeah, I have a question, but uh, first of all, I would like to applaud the uh, the effort that Seva International is doing. And like today, uh, I had also seen one of the video uh, where the Indian skipper of cricket team, uh, Virat Kohli, is applauding the efforts of the Seva International. So I would like to cong congratulate the complete Seva International team and the, all the technical staff and all the uh, team members and the volunteers of the Seva International for their efforts. So we would like to appreciate that, and also like I would also like to uh, ask like uh, how how the evacuation efforts are going on. Is there any other uh, efforts are required by the volunteers? Like we need to ramp up the other facilities, like the uh, informa uh, gathering all the informations, all those things. Uh, how is the plan going forward? Yeah, thank you, Ashish, for the question and then for uh, calling Telugu Nara Radio. And I think, Mr. Venu, I think Ashish touched upon an important question. Right now, uh, there is a massive uh, evacuation going on of the NRIs as part of Vande Bharat. Do you have any inputs to share? Yeah, uh, thank you, Ashish, uh, for bringing up this. And currently, we are helping, you know, we get majority of the calls that, you know, um, calls for the travel to India evacuation um, help uh, request. Uh, we do have a um, you know proper procedure set uh, guidelines, and we help them to fill those forms and prioritize through consulate general. It's not that we have any 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 word to say, but at least we will guide them to follow um, that will reach in the proper channel to the consulate general. Um, that's what uh, it's a case by case. You know, if you have somebody has emergency thing, you know, we are uh, directly approaching um, to the even the consulate also. Uh, we, we are working on those initiatives case by case. Uh, thanks for bringing up. Okay, thank you, Ashish, for calling Telugu NRI Radio. And then, Mr. Venu, I think uh, we I have a question. Like you know, mostly the youth, especially who are in high school and all, they look for these volunteering hours, right? And uh, uh, is save an option for those kids? Yes, um, there is a lead and aspire program, and we run um, this program throughout the year. Whoever gets um, around um, 100 to, you know, we have presidential gold award, silver award, mm -hmm. those programs we are running. Uh, basically, how we run this program is, you know, we take those students and uh, um, they they come sometimes they bring up uh, their own initiative ideas. You know, I can give one one of the example. Um, in the nearby in the Charlotte, there are so many communities. They look for um, some kind of assistance in in uh, math or you know English. Um, those are the programs. You know, we we go online help them. Uh, these high school. Kids, you know, they, they run a project, help those things, you know, weekly, uh, five hours or, you know, a couple of hours they spend with those um, kids. You know, they, they really, they does not have um, any environment at home or no parents also um, unable to help them. Those are the kids we are running um, those lead programs. Uh, that's helping um, local communities. Okay, that is very nice, actually. So, students, like, you know, if you are looking for an organization to volunteer, I think SEVA definitely could be one. Uh, so, do reach out. Uh, 
if you are in charlotte definitely mr venu rao could be able to assist you with your volunteering uh, volunteering hours and like you know help you be part of this uh, great initiatives that uh, seva is doing so mr venu i think we have touched upon so many areas like you know starting from helpline and food drive to student communities to webinars and uh, evacuations medical help visa related help i think there are so many things uh seva international volunteers are actually able to accomplish during this time uh, i definitely like you know uh, i am actually first of all i am i can say that i am amazed uh, and i am very happy that like you know i was able to bring you uh, to my show uh do you want to like you know just uh, make any kind of like you know final uh, appeal uh, or like you know any reminders that you want to give share some information about seva like you know your emails website or make any final appeal um my request to all listeners please spread the word to your friends or coworkers to referring seva if anyone interested in volunteering please email us at seva in clt at gmail dot com seva in clt at gmail dot com all of us have common goal to help the community let's come together and we can serve better that is our slogan you know we will combinedly we can serve better and um, stay safe dhanyawad um, thank you arvin uh mr benu i think can you remind them about like you know your email addresses website address like you know how to connect with you and then uh, uh share like you know or if you want to sign up for volunteering can you share those information details one more time yeah um so the website is sevausa.org go to the charlotte chapter if you're interested in charlotte chapter um and um the facebook facebook.com slash seva clt and the email address is seva in clt at gmail.com and uh, our non-medical helpline number 850 seva clt once again 850-739-2258 okay thank you mr venu i think that was like you know a great session uh through you i was actually able to tell our telegram ri listeners the kind of great work seva and its volunteers are doing and i also uh, like you know thank uh, all the volunteers and their families who are uh, when they have a choice to stay home they are actually doing this uh, like you know they have chosen the other way to serve the society inspired by uh, like you know as mr venu has said uh, the sanatan dharma saying seva is dharma so inspired by that slogan they are actually venturing out and then uh, serving the needy through their various programs so tremendous uh, tremendous tremendous acts of service and uh, it's an honor mr venu uh, to have you on my show and uh, thank you thank you for taking time on a weekend uh, you know weekends are very precious in this country but definitely appreciate uh, your time and thank you for sharing all the information and uh, well i think i hope to speak to you later again like you know once the crisis goes out then maybe you can share all the stuff that you have done as part of this and many other things we could do it one more time later thank thank you arvin uh, thank you for having me and once again thank you all the frontline workers and seva volunteers juniors and other partner organizations as well namaste to all telugu and our listeners well listeners uh, you have listened to mr venu rao from seva international uh, very inspiring uh, venturing out and serving the society in this crisis and every week i would like to bring someone or some topic that is current and that actually impacts uh, our lives 
through my show uh, and i once again uh, thank you nri radio for giving me this opportunity this is rj arvin uh, signing off from charlotte north carolina see you next week namaste